What is up, you guys? I'm gonna show you insider access. Let me show you what is inside. On the top shelf, we have a huge grass-fed cow femur bone that I'm gonna cut into, get the marrow out, and then cut the ends up and make bone broth with it. Behind that, I've got grass-fed ground beef. It's 80-20. That is the fattiest ground beef that I can find. It's from a grass-fed operation here in Costa Rica that feeds real grass year-round. They don't use pesticides or herbicides on their farm, so I know that it's good quality. Some of you guys think that I eat steaks every day. 95% of what I eat is ground beef. It's affordable and makes burgers, which I can dress up with all sorts of good things like grilled plantain, butter, sour cream, as you'll see. So I got the stash of grass-fed ground beef right there thawing. Here I've got some raw sour cream and some raw butter. That is also delicious on burgers. As you can see here, I've got raw milk. I'm a huge fan of raw dairy. We know that when you heat milk in the pasteurization process above 65 degrees centigrade or about 160 degrees Fahrenheit, the whey protein is changed. We also know that kids who grow up on or off farms drinking raw dairy, raw milk, have lower rates of asthma, allergies, and eczema. So it appears that this undenatured whey protein is probably beneficial for humans from an immunologic perspective. So I try to get my dairy in a way that hasn't broken, hasn't denatured that whey protein. Here I've got raw testicles that are thawing. What fridge would be complete without some raw testicles? I've got some raisins and dates. I like the dried fruit for boron. I've got some coconuts down there. I'm in Costa Rica, so I drink those after surf. There's some bone broth that I made myself from grass-fed beef bones and reverse osmosis water. Raw milk here. I've got some ghee. That's clarified butter from the same farm in Costa Rica that I like. Some tallow if I want extra fat. Some raw cheese. Raw cheese is great because even if raw dairy is not available where you are, you can usually find raw cheese. How do you know if raw dairy is available where you are? You can go to realmilk.com. Because I like butter so much, I've always got extra stashes of raw butter from grass-fed cows locally here in Costa Rica. Go into the freezer, it's time for a restock, but it's okay. I've got some frozen heart here, some more ground beef, liver, heart, kidney, spleen, Got some bones for bone broth. What freezer's complete without a backup frozen testicle. Bonus, I'm gonna show you guys my pantry. I'm a simple man, guys, you know how I am. We got some heart and soil supplements here. Skin, hair, and nails, whole package, beef organs. Got some maple syrup, because I like that occasionally to switch up from the honey. Low microplastic sea salt. An assortment of local, low glyphosate honeys. When I'm selecting a honey, I think a lot about where the honey is produced. Are there fields, are there farms where they're using pesticides within six miles of the honey? In Costa Rica, one of the nice things is there are a lot of places where you can get honey from way up in the mountains, like this farm or this farm or this farm or this farm where there's no glyphosate around. One of the cool things, this company here in Costa Rica actually sent me a report of all of the chemicals they tested the honey for. There were no pesticides, no other herbicides, no fungicides in the whole honey. Nothing was detected. So it's awesome that they did this here in Costa Rica for me. Super clean honeys are what I'm all about. Here I've got glassware because I only store my food in glass. I don't want to store my food in plastic. On the bottom shelf, I've got my Vitamix with stainless steel blender. So that's amazing too. That's my whole pantry. Here I've got some kefir that I make myself to do that. I use kefir grains as a starter. I take the raw milk from the fridge and I mix it in here and within a day or so it ferments into kefir. A little more probiotic, gets rid of some of that lactose because I'm definitely lactose intolerant. And what goes well with meat and organs and raw dairy and honey? Some fruit, the least toxic plant foods. I've got the upside down pineapples. There's nothing to do with being a swinger, I'm not a swinger. It just makes them much more juicy and sweet when you store them upside down. I need a bit of a fruit resupply soon too, but I've got a local organic papaya. This is a black pudding sapote that I'm waiting to ripen. Some Gros Michel bananas, which are grown here in Costa Rica. They're some of the best I've ever had. I've got a plantain, that's gonna go on the grill. That one is perfectly ready to get grilled tonight. So that plantain is gonna get grilled with some butter, maybe some sour cream. And I've got the, uh, the protector spirit here because there's a bullshit cabinet here with all kinds of bullshit that we use for reels. Those are like the ghosts from Ghostbusters. We keep them in there with the protector spirits. You guys have seen the bullshit stuff in there, but don't actually eat that. It's just in there for the reels and stuff that we film about it. Thanks for joining me on this tour of my fridge, my pantry, my fruit stash, my fermented milk. This is how we do it, animal-based diet. I'm gonna cut into this bone later today and share some of this 
rich bone marrow with my friends. Then I'm gonna make some broth with the bones and all the cartilage hanging off there. An animal-based diet, I strongly believe this is the most evolutionarily appropriate way for humans to eat. What do our ancestors seek above all things? Meat and organs, they eat the animal from nose to tail. If our ancestors are gonna eat plant foods, what are they gonna go for first? Things that are colorful and sweet, that's fruit. Less of the plant defense chemicals in there. They're also definitely gonna eat honey if they can find it. Select glyphosate free honey. And then more recently, raw dairy in the form of raw butter, raw sour cream, raw milk, and kefir are a delicious, nutritious addition to the human diet. This is an animal-based diet. Organs, meat, fruit, honey, and raw dairy. Super easy, definitely affordable wherever you are. This is how humans thrive.